What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today we are back with a new problems video, man. We have a new problems video. You guys know that we have a ton of new WWE action figures coming to us soon this year. And with new reveals, we used to do a thing on the channel where I would take you through all the different reveals and tell you not necessarily, I guess, the problems. There are problems with these, but problems mean just some, maybe some bad parts choices, maybe some bad deals, maybe some bad things here and there. Some problems that I noticed with upcoming figures that will either A, have to fix in surgery, B really can't be fixed or C need to be corrected maybe in the future or I would like to see it corrected in the future with these with these action figures or with these specific talents. So with all that being said, man, let's go ahead and dive into my list so far and get into the problems with upcoming 2022 and 2023 WWE Elites, Ultimates, and action figures as a whole. So starting out first, man, I have to get into the Ultimate Edition Roman Reigns figure. This Ultimate Edition Roman Reigns, it looks pretty good. I'm actually excited for it. However, I do have some issues with it. We're going to get into it right now. Now, I am happy we're getting a Roman Reigns figure. I think that the gauntlet looks sick with the sculpted on it. But you will notice my biggest issue with this figure is going to be the shoulder tattoo, man. Look at the shoulder tattoo right here. The shoulder tattoo is a huge issue for me. It, it bothers me completely. I think that that big gap right there is a huge eyesore, one. And two, that shouldn't happen. You know, it can't happen right there. Roman Reigns, his full shoulder is connected right there. They definitely need to either increase the size of the decal or, or something. They got to do something there where it, it completely encaptures the shoulder, it goes into that butterfly joint, and it goes up onto the torso. That way you get that full range of motion, you don't get any skin leakage, you want it to be consistent through there. And it is a bit weird, you know, when you get into like the Rocks Ultimate Edition, when you articulate the butterfly joint and then the tattoo like restarts over, I think that gets a bit weird as well. So you gotta kind of find the happy medium of what looks the best when extending the tattoo versus not. But I think they could have gotten away with filling in that Roman shoulder, because we've seen it before, we've seen multiple times. I'm not entirely sure what happened on this run here. And another thing about this figure is the freaking head sculpt, man. Not the screaming head sculpt, but the ponytail head sculpt. That is the same ponytail head sculpt that we've seen for a long, long time now. We could have gotten a brand new Roman head sculpt, a better beard, a more faded, tapered, nice, clean cut, fade Roman, looking very nice and handsome. Could have got maybe a gritted teeth in there. You know, he got his nice teeth made. Maybe we could get, you know, a pissed off Roman, a better looking Roman there. But they did not do it. They gave us the same head sculpt, which kind of upsets me. I would have liked to have seen a better sculpted beard, more details, better looking head. But that's not what we got here. So the shoulder tattoo is my biggest issue there. And then the head sculpt. Those are my two huge problems with this Roman Reigns Ultimate. I'm still excited for it. I think it's going to be a great figure anyways. I'm excited because, you know, the toe articulation is added to this figure, which adds to the boots, makes them a little bit better. So I'm excited about that compared with the shield legs with new boots. I'm excited for that, but had to start off with Ultimate Edition Roman Reigns. The next figure that we're getting into, guys, is going to be the Target Exclusive Legends Ultimate Edition Macho Man from the NWO. Now, this thing has a lot of things going about it that are fantastic. I like this figure a lot. Much like Roman Reigns, it does have a a lot of redeeming qualities but the shirt the shirt tassels I don't know why they give him this triangle style pattern I feel like it would be so awesome if they could figure out a way to give them tassels even if they just cut it like tassels instead of giving it that triangle pattern what if they just cut them into like long rectangle shapes at the ends right there or I don't know I don't know what they could do make it look like the last ultimate edition you know how it had the little rips coming off the sides instead of the triangle cut I don't know what that's about and then the tongue out head sculpt I don't know what that's about either you know I don't I don't think that was part of macho man's shtick right there you know I, I don't know about all that maybe you guys know something that I don't but I don't know I thought that was a very odd choice as well I, I again it's not the end of the world I think it's cool to have a tongue out expression maybe there's a way to customize it and get the tongue and then cut it off and put it on another head you know what I'm saying maybe there's a way to do that Maybe there's some cool things that you can do with the figure, but I still like the figure. I just think that these are two things that I would have liked to see differently, but the Macho Man figure is cool. Can't wait for it to release, and I think it is in the same boat as the Ultimate Edition Roman, where there are some things that could have made these figures slightly better. Next up is going to be the Elite 94 Wes Lee. Now, this one baffled me. These are, these are the things that baffle me, man. Torso choices for Mattel WWE Elites. It's probably going to be, it was around in Elite 1. It's, it's probably going to be around till Elite 100, right? Like, I don't know how we'll ever get over it. But torso choice here for Wesley is just so random. It's so weird. Like, that is just a jack 
torso. Now, Wesley is a fit individual, right? Okay, he's pretty shredded. I understand it, but he's not gigantic, okay? Like, that, I don't think this torso needs to fit anybody. They've used it for Fandango before. They've used it for John Morrison. They've used it for different guys. This torso is not very good for anyone, I, you know? It's just not one of those good torsos. I think the torso that they should have went with is Ricochet. I think Ricochet's torso would have been perfection. You know, I don't know why they have certain things at their disposal, and then for certain figures, they decide not to use certain torsos. I'm guessing that certain torsos can't fit with certain molds, but I don't know why you wouldn't adapt and maybe change those torsos. I don't know what the case is, man. I, I guess they have to fit a certain torso to a certain crotch, but I think that, you know, that, that really hurts the figure, man, because this figure would be over-the-top impressive if this had a ricochet torso with its accurate tattoos and all the stuff wrapping it up in a nice bow. Would have been perfect, but they went with this crazy jack torso. Next up is Elite 94 Bulldog. Now, this figure not necessarily has, like, huge issues. Like, it has double-jointed arms. It's an updated version of the Elite 38, but it is the Elite 38. It is the identical. The head sculpt is the main thing I'm talking about. We're talking 60 series later. We're seeing the same exact head sculpt here. You know, it's not a huge, massive deal because, you know, if somebody missed out on the Elite 38, it's got better details than the Elite 38. The attire's better. You know, there's some different things about it. Double-jointed arms... Obviously, right? This is a much better improvement from the Elite 38. But at the same time, it's the same exact head sculpt. Like, we, it, it, no true effects, no new sculpt. It is the same from 60 series ago. So I think that's a pretty big issue here with the Elite 94 Bulldog. Speaking of Elite 94, another figure in Elite 94 is going to be Bret Hart. Now, we all know the woes of the Bret, the Hitman Hart saga in the WWE Mattel line, right? All, all the way since the beginning, this man has just dealt with multiple head sculpt issues, just all kinds of different things plaguing Bret Hart here in Mattel's history. But I think this one is the hairline. Hairline looks very weird, but I guess it is a thing where, you know, everybody complained about the hair in the face, and then they removed the hair in the face, and now we're complaining about something else. So I guess it's just round and round we go, right? But maybe one day we'll get it correctly. But the hairline on this Elite 94 Brett is kind of weird, the glasses and everything. So I don't know. It, it is definitely an issue, and it's something that I know a lot of people have problems with. And maybe you guys can identify some problems with some other figures in this video that I didn't mention, but this is one that I had to put in the video as well. And moving on to Elite Series 95, we have a few figures from this wave. This is going to include Big E. Same head sculpt that we've seen on his last two elite figures you guys know that yeah I'll, I'll try my best to pull up all three of them up next to each other three straight biggies three straight same head sculpts i just think that when you have a new elite figure i know that they can't always do it right you can't always have a new head sculpt like you got to recycle parts you got to get the most out of what you're using but at the same time when you have a pretty big gap or you know you have a significant gap or you have different things there's got to be some sort of change or some sort of improvement what i think happens is something it falls back on the back burner they're like okay we'll make a new big e head sculpt at this time and then, you know, they they end up putting it off or something, and then it's time to come back to Big E, and they're like, oh, damn, did we ever get that new head sculpt? No, we didn't. We don't have time for it. Let's use the old one. I think that's kind of where we come with this. I'm not entirely sure. It's just a, a guesstimate there, but Elite 95 Big E, same head sculpt as the last two Elites. Elite 95 Eddie Guerrero right here. I do love that we're getting a new head sculpt. Now, this is, see, this is where it's a double-edged sword, and it's kind of double standard a little bit. You see, we, we want new head sculpts. We say we want new head sculpts, then they give us a new head sculpt, and we're like, ah, oh, we don't want that head sculpt. That's kind of what we're seeing here with the Legends Eddie Guerrero and the Elite 95, because had they used the, the Legends Eddie Guerrero, I'd probably be sitting up here telling you the same thing, saying, oh, it's the same head sculpt as the Legends. However, I do like the Legends head sculpt, so I don't really mind as much if it's a really great head sculpt, but if there's been a big time gap, that's when you want to see a change, you know? I, I think that if they reuse a head sculpt and it's a great head sculpt, I don't mind it as much, but in this case, this Eddie Guerrero is a new head sculpt, but it's not my favorite head sculpt, but I think, you know, people would probably complain, and it doesn't always fit the era, right? Like, sometimes you gotta make a new head sculpt because you're changing eras, but those are just some of the sorts, you know, different things that come to my brain. But speaking of Elite 95, we're moving into Bobby Lashley, and Bobby Lashley right here, I mean, this is the exact figure, man. This is the exact Bobby Lashley that we just saw not too long ago. We got this exact Bobby Lashley with different tights, right? It's just different graphics on the tights. Black tights, same head, double jointed arms, black hand tape, same boots, same torso, all the different things are the same here for this Bobby Lashley, and I love the Bobby Lashley figure. The Elite 89, I think it was, is a great figure. I think it's fantastic, but uh, I think the Elite 95, I think I do like it slightly better. I like black and white. I think they really do well. Like, black and white gears or white and black gears look really good. Again, I mentioned in our reveals video, I would have loved to seen red or white pants. Maybe he'd be the chase, and you get red tights as one, and then white tights as one. I would have loved to seen that, 
but instead we did get black tights here and i'm guessing since he's not the chase we will be getting a bobby lashley not too far in the future probably like series 104 or something you know so we'll see about bobby lashley and maybe we can get some white tights then but at the same time this bobby lashley is an exact copy of elite 89 and i had to mention it would have liked to seen just anything different you know a different head a better attire or something but it's even black tights and, and it's still the same moving on up guys we do have the SummerSlam elite orton now this one's not a huge deal this is kind of a nitpick a little bit but i did want to mention it you guys can let me know your thoughts down below do you guys feel like these trunks are not completely accurate to the way they're supposed to look they look uh, they look a bit orange to me and i know his tights kind of had that orangish look but his tights were more of like a peachy color man if you go back if you're familiar with the SummerSlam 04 match with benoit randy orange trunks were like a peachy color man they were like a peachy cream sickly color not like this lightish orange and so, I don't know. I'll try my best to get some comparison shots. You guys can let me know your thoughts. But it was more peachy. I'm telling you, it was cream sickly. It was pretty damn sweet of an attire. It's one of my favorite gears Orton's ever worn. It was more peachy pink orange than, you know, just straight up orange. But you guys can let me know about that. That is uh, one of the things that I saw about this figure. I still love the figure. Still going to grab it. I think it's fantastic. Just something I wanted to mention. And then the last figure I wanted to mention today is going to be the Legends Bradshaw. Now, this one baffled the hell out of me, Brad. I uh, literally, this, this one baffled the hell out of me brad shaw is what i should say because this torso is not accurate i know it's because they use the same torso on the last elite jbl it's the only jbl elite we've ever seen from mattel which is another guy that needs an update his mold was way too skinny you know they use that skinny ripped up way barrett torso i think it's just because he's a tall guy you know tall you know fair skin kind of guy and I think that's probably why they use this torso. But I just think it's not the right move. It's just not the right move. I think they could have gotten away with a way bigger torso. JBL Bradshaw was pretty damn big, man. He was pretty damn jack, jack. And so I think this would have been a way better torso to switch. Either the Austin torso or even a newly molded torso or just something. They could have done something here. But the skinny torso isn't doing it for me. And I would have liked to have seen something else. But at the end of the day, you know, I still am very excited to get the Acolytes. And I'm excited to get these two here. I think the Farouk looks fantastic look how good the Farouk looks compared to his shot and then compare Bradshaw there you guys get the point there but that is all my problems those are the things that I have noticed about the upcoming figures there's probably some more that I forgot to mention there's probably some other things that we could have gotten into but these are the ones that stood out to me and I wanted to put these on video and get them out here for the problems of 2022-2023 figures but I'm getting out of here man thank you guys so very much for watching I hope you guys did enjoy let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below I'm getting out of here follow me on Instagram Twitter and TikTok at my name toys and all the figures in this video